Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I got a comment from one of my members. Uh, how do you do long division? So this is gonna be a short video on how to do long division. This is preparation for any standardized math exam, specifically the ASVAB military placement exam, both arithmetic reasoning and the mathematical knowledge. So let's go over long division. So there's a couple ways to write it. Let's say I have 587 divided by four. I could write it like this, divide 587 by four. I could write it like this, 587 divided by four. I could write it like this, 587 divided by four. This part right here is called the dividend. It's kind of hard words to remember. So this numerator, the top of the fraction is the dividend. This right here is the divisor, it is what you are dividing by. Your answer is the quotient, so this whole thing is the quotient. And then if there's a remainder, if it doesn't go in there evenly, that would be your remainder. And we'll talk about a few different ways um, how to find that remainder and what to do with that remainder. The process for long division is this. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. It's, it's a mnemonic device, DMSBR. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. So let's do this 587 divided by four. Let me uh, move this up a little here. So I have 587, 587 divided by four. Again, the way I think of this is if I have 587 divided by four, I think of it as like a tower that always falls over this way. So it always falls over to the right. So as it falls over, I have 587 divided by four. So how many times does four go into 587? So the first thing I'm gonna do right here is divide. I'm gonna see how many times four will go into that first digit. Well, four will go into five one time. So I did my divide. Four times one is four. There's my multiply. Five minus four is one. There is my subtract. Bring down, bring that eight down. 18, repeat. How many times does four go into 18? It goes in there four times. Again, that was my divide. 18 divided by four is four. Multiply, four times four is 16. Subtract, 18 minus 16 is two. Bring down, bring down that seven, 27, repeat. Four in a 27, four times six is 24. Subtract three, bring down, there's nothing to bring down. So I have a remainder of three. So I could say four goes into 587 times, 146 times with a remainder of three. So that's one way to do it. Pretty uncommon way to do it. Another way to do it is to say it went in there 146 times with three left over. Three won't go into that four. Three is a portion of that four. So 146 and three quarters. Probably a better way than the remainder of three. But the remainder is gonna go over that. If it is greater than it, then you could have divided more into it, if that makes sense. Okay, let's try one more of these. Um, what I do right now is I'd pause the video, do this problem before I do this problem. We'll make it a little bit longer. Let's say 10,093 divided by five. So if I had the problem 1,093, divided by five, I'd set it up like this. It would be a fraction like this. No, it wouldn't, that's wrong. 
it would be a fraction like this, 1093 divided by 5, right? And it would fall over this way. So the problem would say, what is 1093 divided by 5? 5 going to 1, no, it doesn't. 5 going to 10, yes, it does. It goes in there twice. Multiply, 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract, 10 minus 10 is 0. Bring down 9. 5 goes into 9 one time, giving me 5. Subtract, 9 minus 5 is 4. Bring down the 3. 5 goes into 43 eight times, giving me 40. 43 minus 40 is 3. There are no more numbers there. So that is my remainder. So the correct answer of 1,093 divided by 5 is 218 and 3 fifths. Okay, let me do one more problem here. Again, I would pause the video, make sure um, you're doing the problem before I do it. Unpause, watch how I do it. Let's say I have, uh, I don't know, 20,752 divided by 30. Okay, so again, that fraction is going to look like 20752 over 3, it falls over that way. So how many times does 3 go into 20,752? 3 go into 2, it doesn't. 3 go into 20, yes. It goes in 6 times to give me 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. Bring down, let me change colors here. Bring down the 7, 3 goes into 27 nine times evenly, 27. Subtract 0, bring down the 5, change colors again here. 3 goes into 5 one time, multiply, subtract, bring down the 2, 3 goes into 22 seven times, 21 subtract 1, remainder of 1. My answer is 6,917, one third and one third. So that's how you do long division. Uh, it takes a lot of practice. A couple key things, really stay organized um, and keep your columns pretty straight. Uh, and don't get intimidated. You know, the bigger and bigger it gets, the harder it seems, but it's not any harder. It's just a lot more steps. Actually, with that said, let me do one more. And then rather than have a single digit, we'll do a double digit right there. So let's go ahead and say we have, I don't know, 32,576 divided by uh, 20. Okay, so that would look like 3, 2, 5, 7, 6 over 20. It would fall over this way. What I am saying is how many times does 20 go into 32,576? Pause the video. Do this before I do it. 20 goes into 32 one time. Subtract. 2, 1. Bring down. Let me change colors every step. Bring down, how many times is 20 going to 125? Six, to give me 120. Subtract, bring down, how many times is 20 going to 57? It would only go in there twice to give me 40, 17. Bring down 6, 20 goes into 176, 8 times to give me 160. 176 minus 160 is 16. There's my remainder, 16 20th. So there's my remainder, 16 20th. That fraction could be reduced. 4 will go into here, 
four times, four will go in here five times. So my answer is 1,628 and four fifths. You could create as many of these as you want uh, and then just check your work with a calculator. There is no calculator on the exam. So the goal is to do as many practice problems so you understand this process. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Can't thank you enough for being a member of the channel and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Any questions at all, post them in the comments and I'll make a short video of what you're having trouble with.